Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm gonna share with you guys my morning skincare routine and my regular everyday makeup. So uh, I don't like heavy foundation look. I like more fresh uh, glowy skin. And so I'm gonna share with you guys what kind of makeup um, I use and how I apply. So first step is skincare, and I put this Tramexanic Acid Serum. Um, uh, it's good for uh, hyperpigmentation. I have a lot of it. Do you see it right here? I'm working on my hyperpigmentations a lot. Um, I got laser treatment um, every month to try to get rid of it, but it always come back. That's you have to take care of your skin every day. I apply this serum two to three drops and directly to my skin. This is my first step. So next step is facial mask. So I have a little bit of extra time today because my husband is home and he took our kids to school and he took our dog. So I have extra time. So I wore this vitamin C facial mask. So it, it, this is a big bag and I got it from a Japanese store. And if you live in a big city, you should be able to find uh, any Japanese store and it comes with a 28 sheet. So I wear this every night, every night. And when I have extra time, I wear this in the morning as well. And, you know, I, I think moisturizing is very, very important for our skin. And so I always wear this. And so. Uh, if you wear this every day, you should be, you should finish everything in a month, less than a month. Um, this is not that expensive. It's like probably uh, 20 bucks or something like that. So I really, really like this facial mask. And when you go to a Japanese store, there is tons of different kind of facial masks. So you can pick whatever, uh, you know, your skin concern, like you want to, uh, you're looking for more vitamin C or you're looking for more uh, moisturizing or you're looking for more uh, pore care. So there is a different kind of facial mask. So you can pick uh, uh, whatever you're concerned about your skin and that will help. And I wear this facial mask about 10 minutes and I do not recommend to wear more than 10 minutes or 15 minutes because when a facial mask start getting dry, that means your facial mask take out uh, the moisture from your skin. So don't wear too long. And next one is this Zoskin. Zoskin, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is a little bit of, uh, this is a hydration uh, calming facial cream. I wore this very lightly. Okay, and the next is this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is a all-in-one primer and moisturizer. I recently obsessed with this cream a lot. I actually have to order one more. So I wear this very lightly all over my skin. Oh, smells so good. And next is sunscreen. And I use this glow uh, glow screen from uh, by Supergoop. I like this one because it has uh, it's glow. I just apply. I love this. Do you see it? It's a little. It's glow highlight effect so it makes your skin brighter so i wear this all over my face also i wear second sunscreen as well for my neck and my ears right. and you should wear sunscreen every day even though you stay home because you know sun rays comes from the window as well and the key is I put sunscreen behind my ear and a little bit of inside too. I heard very scary story from my client. So her, I think her dad, 
her dad uh, got skin cancer on his ear inside because I think a guy has a short hair, right? And so uh, dad driving the car all the time and sun hit from his left side all the time. So he, can, so he got skin cancer in his ear. It's very, very scary. So since then, I, so I always make sure I put sunscreen in the ear too. It's so scary. And I also, when I purchase sunscreen, I also make sure that it has SPF and it also PA3+. And the next one is a foundation. Okay, foundation, I always use this uh, Giorgio Almani uh, Luminous Silk. This is a very um, pretty light coverage and um, dewy skin. So I just put apply foundation on my finger and on my forehead. I don't put that much, just very lightly. And I know I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, but when I put foundation, I don't cover 100% on my uh, on my freckles and then the sunspots. Um, when you are over 35, I'm almost 40. More product, more foundation makes you look super old and more product makes your uh, make your small wrinkles stand out so i try to put minimize um, the foundation okay and next is a concealer so i usually don't use concealer but i have a little pimple scar here because i pop it i know i shouldn't do it but this is the uh, same one uh, from jojo Armani. So again, when I put the concealer, I try to not to put cover 100%. It just blends in enough and that's what I need. So I just put very lightly. This is enough. And a little bit of under my nose because it's a little bit redness. And that's it. Okay, the next is eyeshadow primer. Eyeshadow primer. You know, I always use because um, it helps to keep your eyeshadow stays all day. Next is I'm gonna use this contour kit from Smashbox. Oh my god, so dirty. Okay, I use this contour color here. I'm gonna put it right here and right here. Super light, very quick. Because you know, women, we're so busy. And then the other, okay, right here in the nose. And then the other step is, you know, Asian, we have a very flat face. So I put a contour color right here to make a little bit more. This helps right here. And this helps to make my nose bridge taller. And on my nose. And then I get the big brush and take the middle color, which is bronzer. So I'm just gonna put top of my cheekbone, just a little bit, and my forehead, my nose, and my chin. Just blend it a little bit. And then next is my eyeshadow. I use just exactly same color as my bronzer and just to take it and put an entire my eye hole. So I think, you know, morning makeup, everyday makeup should be quick and easy because, you know, as a woman, we don't have a time to, you know, spend time over 30 minutes to work on your eyeshadow, you know. I am, I feel like, you know, the guy is so easy. They just wake up and wash their face and then put it on their clothes and they're ready. But you know, woman, we have a lot of steps to, you know, to leave. Okay, and exactly same color. I put it on the bottom of my eyes. Okay. 
And then next is this Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palette. I use this middle color and dark color mix. And apply close to my, um, what's it called? The lash line. I just put um, in timer eyes and same color on the bottom, really, really close to lash line. Mm -hmm. And next is eyeliner and I got this in Japan. It's very smooth and and creamy and I use dark brown color because I don't want to look too harsh and I put it on the bottom as well just only halfway and I take a small brush to um, smudge it out It's a little cat eye look. And the next is mascara. I already got the lashes extensions done, so I don't put any mascara on the top. I always get the lash extensions that helps, that save time a lot. And then also I got the um, microblading and eyeliner tattoo and also lip blushing. These are all my tattoos. So it helps me a lot, especially after I have my babies. You know, after you deliver a baby first couple of months, you really, really don't have time. You don't even have energy to put the makeup on, but still you look pretty when you have eyebrow and eyeliner and lips and lash extensions, so. Okay. I always put the uh, primer first for my Mascara, eyebrows. Okay, eyebrows. I just used the uh, uh, Anastasia. Um, this uh, mascara. And again, I already have a shape of my eyebrow because I got the microblading, microblading done. So I don't have to spend time to draw my eyebrow to figure it out which shape I have to go. Okay, and then next is I'm gonna use different eyebrow gel. This gel is um, put more color on your actual eyebrow hair and then uh, keep them on keep them hold. So if you want to uh, make this stand up your eyebrow. This one will help to keep eyebrow stay in place. Next is a blush. It's from MAC, orange color. I put it on top of my cheekbones. And next is a highlight. This is from Becca. This is a liquid highlight. Do you see? To make powder look. Do you see? I love this. Probably you noticed that I don't put any powder yet. Uh, the blood powder from MAC. I just put it right here and a little bit right here and my. On the I don't put any powder around here because it makes me look super old. So when you're over 35 close to 40 and more product and more powder makes you look older and makes your wrinkle stands out more so i always try to minimize the product on my skin okay and then it's all done this is my everyday makeup and i put all the product detail in below and if you're interested check it out i'll see you next time